In the last video, we saw how we could remove the element using the index. We did something like this, integer list dot remove, and then pass on the index of the uh, value, which is, let us say, I want to remove 75, then the index would be two, right? So I pass on this and uh, that's it. Now, if I try and run this, obviously 75 is gone. You see that? Okay, now, what if I know the object and I don't know the index of that particular object? Okay, in that type of situation where I know the object, which is let's say 75 in my case, uh, then what I would do is I'd say int index is equal to find the index of that particular object. So find the index of 75. You know, I used this index of method, which is what uh, it's going to do, find the index of that particular object. Now, if I say the next line, which is what you already know, integer list dot remove, and then pass on that index, we would be done with removing the object, which is 75. You see, 5, 35, 105, 75 is no more. Let's get, let me give you another example. This time I'm just going to just copy and paste, and let me call it index one, and I want to remove uh, 35. Now, if I just say index one here, we'll be done. I'll run this. You see 35 is no more. So that is the idea behind how you can remove an object from the list. All right, now this is a bad, bad practice to do, uh, which is, you know, code duplication. I mean, when you can do something like this, why, why I mean, you can do something Anyway, just forget it. This is not this is not a code refactoring tutorial, um, which you know I'll be doing upfront uh, in the upcoming days. Uh, but at this point, just remember that this is how you can remove an element from the list.